I'm going to say this really, really slowly for all the people who have the attention span of piss. Okay, you ready? I do not care about Kyle Rittenhouse. I don't know the dude. I'm not friends with the dude. I don't know jack shit about what's going on in that trial. I don't care if he's innocent or guilty. It's not my problem. You want to know why? Because while he was doing what he was doing, my black ass was sitting somewhere sleeping or probably masturbating. That's not my friend. That's not my brother. I've never made any claim showing support or denouncing him. You want to know why? Because I wasn't paying attention to that. There were other things that drew my attention i'll be honest i'm not focused on every single thing that happens on social media you know why because i'm one person and investing my time 24 7 into the depressing shit that is the cesspool of social media i can't do it i will never be able to do it because i like my life and i don't like being sad 24 7 and with that being said i better not see any comments after this verdict comes out saying oh my god i bet you're happy that your bro walked scot-free or my my favorite ha ha your buddy got put in jail again because that's what he deserved you white ally you white supremacist you hate black people and all this different shit i don't care i'll see you next time goodbye but for all the people who stayed and are interested in what i have to say in regards to the title of this video i am getting a little bit annoyed and a little bit concerned about the people who say hey we expect a certain outcome with these trials and if we don't get it there'll be hell to pay you will have to suffer the consequences or whatever that black woman said in the past about that Derek Chauvin trial if George Floyd's murderer is not sentenced just know that all hell is gonna break loose don't be surprised when buildings are on fire just saying because that's dumb i don't advise anybody do that i don't care what side you're on with this if you're going to sit there and say hey if he ends up being innocent there'll be hell to pay or if he goes out and says oh my god he's guilty there'll be hell to pay no don't do that you know why because when the violence comes and people get hurt because of this trial and some people get broken bones or whatever happens when vandals come out and break things or steal things or whatever happens with this trial and the consequences come out people are going to look at you and say hey weren't you one of the ones that said something negative was gonna happen if the trial didn't go the way you wanted hey could you explain that for us real quick and you sit there and stutter and say oh 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 oh, oh i didn't say that i'm not saying you can't be invested in the trial i'm saying don't post stupid shit about the trial you know why because it's gonna come back to bite you you understand that do you understand that if you say oh i'm gonna burn down this building if this person doesn't end up in jail you realize people are gonna look at you and look at the building you're talking about and make sure you don't make any sudden movements if you say oh my god this person better be innocent or i'm going to gather my friends and we're going to put on these costumes and we're going to go around and break things you understand people are going to keep an eye on you after that trial if it doesn't go your way it's not a smart decision to do i get that we all like to be woke and conscious and care about other people who are the minority but literally that's dumb don't do that just watch if it doesn't go your way oh well you're not on trial you're not gonna go to jail you're not going to be released from handcuffs or set free if he's innocent it's you you're going to sit comfortably wherever you are and you're going to be mad. You're going to be happy, whatever it is. But do not under any circumstances. I don't care if you support the bastard. I don't care if you love the bastard. I don't care if you want that bastard to suffer the fate of being next to Big Tyrone. Whatever it is, do not post anything about inciting violence if you don't get your way. It's not smart. Never. It's never going to be smart. It's never going to be a good thing if you do that. Okay? We understand each other? Are we clear? Do we understand the levels of stupidity on the internet? I hope so, because even though I'm still gonna see it, I would hope that a lot of people who have the attention span of piss understand what I'm saying here. This is not in support of Kyle Rittenhouse. This is not to denounce Kyle Rittenhouse. It's an inner look at the people who say, oh my God, LOL, I'm gonna burn down this store if I don't get my way. You are dumb you are weird seek help don't do it and if you have done it delete it because you're going to get backlash for it later subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next one be smart about what you tweet invest your time and energy in the right things good bye